Hello, I wanted to show you how to do an online voice recorder and then implement it and upload it into your Google slide. The first slide I have here right now for you is already completed. I have linked my um, voice recording and I went ahead and also linked a video that the kids could access right into the Google slide that I wanted them to watch before completing the activity. The background I have already put in and implemented and saved as a background. There are many tutorials about how to do that. This page is what I wanna show you how I'm going to record. So a lot of students that I work with cannot read independently. And then this way um, it makes it a little bit more accessible for them and a parent doesn't have to be reading to them as well as they can hear their teacher's voice as if they are in the class being read to. So I went to onlinevoicerecorder.com. It is a free online voice recorder and I went ahead and moved it to a separate page. I pulled it. Um, I like to have it side by side so I can see what I'm going to read. Uh, then, then I get started. So you just click the red button counts you down. Living definition page. A living thing can breathe, eat, grow, move itself, reproduce. Okay, then I hit pause. You can pause and keep going. I'll hit stop. Then it will process, and I like this part, you can edit. So you can hear the click, and I like to pull it in, and then pull it in. And then of course you can sample it, reproduce. You can start from the beginning, count you down. Living definition. Okay, so I talked there, so I wanna remove that part. Now I'm gonna listen again. Living definition page. A living thing can breathe. Okay, so it sounds good to me and I'm gonna click save. It automatically downloads, so this is where you need your Google Drive. I have um, a folder for my voice recordings. I take where it downloaded and just drag it into my Google Drive. It is uploading, I don't need that page anymore. Okay, and then it always just saves. So I always rename it just because I want to know exactly what it is. If I have to go back and look for it, and I call it Living Things. Okay, and then I go over back to where I was on my Google slide. Insert audio. And it brings up your audios in your Google Drive immediately. You can search on your device. You can um, find them right here. It's gonna be your first most recent one. Click select. And then there it is. So then you can make it bigger, put it where you want it. And then the kids can click on it. Living definition page. A living thing can. And see it. So there's also information over here if it was in present mode, um, if you wanted it to start automatically in present mode when they went to it or if they clicked on it. A lot of my students don't put it in present mode, so I don't worry about that page. So there it is. They can just click on it, hover over it, click the play, reach the directions. You do need to make sure, though, that when your audio in your Google Drive, you need to make sure that it's shareable or they won't be able to access it. So you click share. And mine automatically goes to anyone can view it. Um, and then you can turn that off, obviously. And then it is shareable. And there you go. The kids should be able to access it. Um, I have it both an introduction right here. And then this is read aloud to them also. I hope this helps.